a discrete LTI system is characterized by following difference equation. Y of n is equal to Y of n minus 1 plus Y of n minus 2 plus X of n minus 1. We are supposed to find the system function of this difference equation. Indicate ROC if system is stable. We have to check whether the system is stable. If it is stable, find ROC and check for causality. If it is causal, find ROC and obtain impulse response in both the cases. First, let me take the difference equation. First, we will try to find the system function that is system transfer function. So let me rewrite uh, the given difference equation that is y of n is equal to y of n minus 1 plus y of n minus 2 plus x of n minus 1. This is the given difference equation. Now apply difference taking z transform of this equation that is taking z transform we get the z transform of y of n is y of z similarly z transform of y of n minus 1 is that is we have to apply shifting theorem of z transform we will get z inverse y of z it is shifted by one unit plus here the signal y of n is shifted by two unit so we are supposed to write it as z power minus 2 y of z plus here this is x of z inverse x of z as x of n is input the z transform of x of n is x of z it is shifted by one unit so z inverse x of z or I can represent it as y of z is equal to I will take this y of z on other side that is z inverse y of z minus z power minus 2 y of z is equal to z inverse x of z or I can represent it as taking y of z as common that is 1 minus z inverse minus z power minus 2 is equal to z inverse x of z. So, the system transfer function that is is nothing but y of z divided by x of z which is nothing but h of z is equal to we have z inverse divided by 1 minus z inverse minus z power minus 2. This is the system transfer function for the given difference equation. This is the answer for case 1. Call it as equation 1. So now I will represent equation 1 as by taking the roots that is I can represent it as z inverse divided by. So I can find the roots of this following denominator directly by using calculator. I will get it as 1 plus 0 0.618 z inverse and we have 1 minus 1.1 1 1.618 1 z inverse. This can be done directly by using calculator. Now I will try to simplify this using partial fraction method by applying partial fraction method. So I can represent it as h of z is equal to say some constant a divided by 1 plus 0 0.618 z inverse plus b divided by 1 minus 1.618 z inverse or I can represent it as here is equal to by taking the LCM I will get 1 plus 0 0.618 z inverse 1 minus 1.618 z inverse in numerator we have a 
this term will go this side that is 1 minus 1.618 z inverse plus b we have 1 plus 0.618 z inverse so now comparing this expression this expression with this expression i can write that is z inverse is equal to a in bracket we have 1 minus 1.618 z inverse plus we have b in bracket 1 min minus it is plus 0 0.618 z inverse now we'll try to find the constants a and b so put I will first make a term 0 so a term will be 0 this term will be 0 if we take z inverse is equal to 1 upon 1 1.618 so I will take z inverse is equal to 1 upon 1 1.618 that is 1 upon 1 1.618 is equal to a so this term will be 0 plus b here we have 1 plus 0 0.618 divided by 1.618 or I can represent it as 1 upon 1.618 is equal to b in bracket so solving this I will get that is point use 1.381 so solving this I will get b is equal to 0.44 so similarly now to get constant a I will make this term 0 so this term will be 0 if I put z inverse is equal to 1 upon minus 0 0.618 in this expression so in that case I will get it as minus 1 upon 0 0.618 is equal to a in bracket 1 minus 1 1.618 this will be plus divided by 0 0.618 plus b into 0 so solving this I will get minus 1 upon 0 0.618 is equal to a in bracket I will get 3.8 six one eight so solving this I will get a as same that is zero point minus four four seven two this is minus here so therefore So therefore I can write H of Z is equal to V how minus 0 0.447 divided by that is a divided by 1 plus 0.618 z inverse 1 plus 0 0.618 z inverse plus we have 0 0.447 divided by 1 minus 1.618 z inverse let me call it as equation 2 this equation it is this equation can also be represented as h of z is equal to we have z divided by z plus 0 0.618 and z minus 1.618 so here we can see that the pole exists at z equal to 0 0.618 
and another pole exist at z equal to 1.618 so let me draw the poles and zeros and zero so if i draw the zeros and poles for understanding purpose i will draw here is the unit circle having radius 1 say this is z plane so here 0 exists at z equal to 0 that is the value of h of z for what value of z the h of z will become 0 that is called zeros so here if we take z equal to 0 then definitely h of z will become 0 so at z equal to 0 0 exists at z equal to 0 it is real axis and this is imaginary axis and here the pole exists that is for what value of z h of z will become infinity so h of z will be in, become infinity when denominator term is 0 so denominator term will be 0 if we take z equal to minus 0 0.618 or z equal to 1.618 so it is having two poles one is at say assume that this is minus 0.618 and another one is pulse is always represented by cross mark it will be 1.618 so now we'll check whether the system is causal or not a system is said to be causal if the order of the numerator is less than the order of the denominator here order of new numerator is definitely less than order of denominator because denominator order is 2 and the numerator order is 1 so we can say that the system is causal or we can say that here system is causal so for causal system the roc is outside the outermost pole here we have two poles one pole is at minus zero roc must be outside the outermost pole outside the outer most pole so here we have two poles one is at minus 0.618 another one is 1.618 so the roc is at z greater than 1.618 now let's take the inverse impulse response of this by taking inverse z transform of equation 2 we'll get impulse response z is greater than 1.618 indicates that the signal is right sided that is by taking inverse z transform of equation 2 we get h of n is equal to minus 0 0.447 we have minus 0. Point, that is here we have 1 minus of minus 0 0.618 that is minus 0 0.618 raised to n u of n plus here we have 0 0.447 1.618 power n u of n because we know that the z transform of z transform of alpha power n u of n is given by 1 upon 1 minus alpha z inverse so comparing with this expression here we can see that alpha value is minus 0 0.618 and in this case alpha value is 1.618 this is the required impulse response of the system so now we'll check the stability now for a system to be stable the ROC should include the unit circle so here we can or in other words we can say that if all the poles are inside the unit circle the system is stable so here 
one pole is outside the inner circle those so the system is not stable but still we should choose the roc such that roc much must be less than 1.618 which is below this one and it should be greater than 0.618 so in that case we can write the impulse response as we write the impulse response for this system that is h of n is equal to for this term h z is greater than 0.618 it means that it is left sided sequence so for left sided the first expression will be same that is minus 0.447 we have minus 0.618 power n u of n and for this term for second term here z is less than 1.618 if z is less than 1.618 means it is left sided sequence as we know for left sided sequence uh, it is varying from minus infinity to minus 1 therefore we supposed to write it as and for left sided sequence we supposed to replace plus by minus that is minus we have 0 0.447 that is 1.618 power n u of minus n minus 1 so for left sided sequence it is minus n minus 1 because so for right sided sequence it begins from 0 towards plus infinity and for left sided sequence it begins from minus 1 towards minus infinity so it's supposed to be minus n minus 1 so this is the impulse response of the system Thank you for watching.